ChatGPT and Midjourney are absolutely insane when used separate. But what would happen if you combined these two? You know, what would happen if you took the prompt generating aspect of ChatGPT4 and combined it with the art generating aspect of Midjourney V5? Well, today we are going to find out. Considering the fact that ChatGPT has limited knowledge up until 2021 of September, we need to inform ChatGPT what Midjourney is, what does Midjourney do, what are some of the parameters involved when creating prompts. So this could be a very difficult process, but what I've done is I've created the six page PDF, a uh, ChatGPT4 X Midjourney training sheet in order to inform ChatGPT on what Midjourney is. So I've created this once, so all we need to do is paste this in ChatGPT and it understands what certain parameters are. It understands what we want it to do when it comes to prompt generation for Midjourney. So if you want something that you know is going to work when you paste it into ChatGPT, you can head over to my website, link in description, and you can enter your information, hit submit, and it will automatically pull you to that PDF. So then you can just copy and paste that right into ChatGPT. So that's what I'm going to do right now in order to train ChatGPT on what is Midjourney. Okay, I've got it all highlighted. I'm going to hit Control C, head over to ChatGPT, make sure that I'm on Model 4 to get the best results, and then I'm going to paste it in here. And basically what I've done is I've given Midjourney example prompts, I've given it parameters to choose from, instructions, I've given it a description of what is Midjourney. And then at the bottom here, at the end of this prompt, I've said, now that you have a full understanding of Midjourney with example prompts, I want you to act like a professional photographer and to use descriptive and detailed information when you are describing your photo prompts. Include your camera setups as well. What ChatGPT will do is generate very realistic photos. So this is absolutely going to change the way photography could be done forever. And then at the bottom here, I say, if so, respond with yes and nothing else, because otherwise it will start generating a bunch of prompts that, um, that you don't want. You know, you want to be able to generate your own prompts. So what we're going to do is we're going to send this off. And if ChatGPT says yes, then it's accepted the information and it's going to work. So let's send this off reading it right now and boom, said yes. So it's that simple. If you just copy that information from the PDF, you paste it in ChatGPT. Now ChatGPT knows everything it needs to know about Midjourney and what it's going to do is generate you awesome prompts at your request. So for an example, I'm going to ask it to generate me a realistic photograph of a pirate for this first input. So I'm going to type that in. So what I like to do is I like to type generate a prompt for, and then I put a colon and then whatever I want the prompt to be about. So I want a hyper realistic portrait of a pirate. And when I send this off, what you're going to notice is ChatGPT4 does such a good job at generating an awesome prompt for you. So you don't have to do that in mid journey. So I'm going to send this off. We're going to wait it out and it's going to generate this prompt. As you can see, it's typing already hyper realistic portrait of a pirate. And then it's, it's going to give some, some adjectives here. And it's even describing what camera to use, the lens it's using, the f-stop, uh, what kind of colors we want, composition and perspective. And then it even goes here to mention that we want this in version five, we want this quality of two, and we want this aspect ratio to be four to five. So it does that all for you after you just paste in this information telling it what Midjourney is. So now what we can do is we can copy this prompt and head over to Midjourney. I'm going to copy that, head over to my Discord server. And now we're going to type slash imagine and we're just going to paste in that prompt and send it off. And just like that, the AI art is generating for us with the quick input of what we wanted in ChatGPT. Pictures just got done generating and I am very excited to open this in a new link and view it in a larger image. So let's do that now. And would you look at that? These pirates are looking insane. I mean, just look at the detail on this one's face. You get every little hair, he's got cuts on his skin, there's wrinkles from his age. And the thing that baffles my mind the most is that these are not real people. You know, these are, these are fake people generated by AI. This one has a little trinket on his hat. That could be some sort of pirate symbol maybe. Yeah, that's just amazing. Every little thread, every little detail that goes into this AI art is what makes it so awesome. So that one was very cool. And now when you wanna generate another image, just head back over to ChatGPT. And then what you can do 
is I just like hitting this little edit button here so I don't have to type this in again. I like hitting this little edit button and then just backspacing my prompt here. And that way, now I can just type in whatever prompt I want. And then I can go through my previous prompts after I'm done saving and submitting this prompt right here. So my next prompt, what I want to do is a Gatsby house party. If you've ever read or watched the movie The Great Gatsby, it's basically a movie that takes place in the 20s. And Gatsby is this guy that threw all of these insane parties just so the possibility of that girl that he found in his past would come to his house parties. So this should be interesting. What I'm hoping to see is luxury, fireworks, um, and hints of the 1920s. So I'm just going to type in hyper-realistic Gatsby house party, and I want to see what ChatGPT can come up with. Let's see if it can pull in that data like 1920s um, fireworks and what actually took place in the Gatsby house parties. I'm pretty sure that it will be able to, but this should be interesting. So we are going to see this. Okay, so generate a prompt for hyper-realistic Gatsby house party. I'm going to hit save and submit now. This is the cool thing about just hitting that edit button is now you can just hit save and submit and you can go through your responses. It's kind of a nice way just to keep your chat GPT dashboard a little bit more organized. And just as I thought, as I was hoping, um, it included the 1920s atmosphere without me having to even mention anything about it. So it took Gatsby and related to the 1920s, which is very cool. And I'm very excited to see how this is going to turn out. So we are going to copy this and head back over to mid journey head back over to the discord server type slash imagine. And now we're going to paste it in and send it off just like that. It's that quick before using chat GPT four in mid journey. You'd have to think of all this on your own and to get the styles, to get the F stop, to get the camera you want. This would have taken a lot of legwork. So if you're an artist or you're someone who enjoys making art, then this is going to save you a ton of time. I'm going to wait for this to generate. It's at 15% right now. And then we will make the images larger and check out how it did. So the images are done generating. And now we're going to open this up in order to view the full quality. We're going to hit open link. And would you look at this? This is absolutely insane. I will admit that this top right one could use a little bit of work. This kind of just looks like a, a wedding rehearsal at somebody's house. But this bottom right one is awesome. I mean, as you can tell, it pulls in the hats from the 1920s. All the men are dressed in suits. I'm going to be honest, it's not what I was thinking that it was going to look like. But it still amazes me how these are all AI generated people and it can pull in an atmosphere from the 1920s. For this next prompt, what I want to do is generate a cool guy in the 1950s. You know, we're going back to that decades thing, except this time we're going to give ChatGPT the decade and see if it can generate a little bit better response than the previous Gatsby house party one. So what I want for this one is a realistic full body portrait of a cool guy in the 50s. And what I'm actually going to do is make this the 1950s, just giving it that little bit of extra information. And now we can hit save and submit. And ChatGPT will once again generate out this prompt very quickly for us so we don't have to do the thinking. We have the idea and now ChatGPT is going to generate the prompt in order for us to put that idea into the AI art software. So it is using some interesting camera equipment here. We're using a Roloflex 2.8F and I don't know what this is, but we're going to see how this is going to turn out. We got natural daylight, soft focus, a confident expression already leaning against a vintage car. That's kind of what you imagine a cool guy from the 1950s would do. He has a leather jacket and cuffed jeans, retro diner in the background. So far, this is sounding like it's going to turn out great. Uh, but let's put it in mid journey and let's see, let's see if it does. So I'm going to copy this slash imagine once again, paste in my prompt, send it off quick and efficient. So this picture generation is complete and I'm already loving what is going on. Now we're going to open this up and view it as a little bit larger of an image. The subject looks a little bit younger than I was imagining, but this is still pretty cool. I think my favorite right off the bat is going to be this first one. Um, the reflections off the car, the entire style of what's going on here is just awesome. And this is just wild to me. This is absolutely insane how quickly it can do this. And the reflections off the cars are what also make me pretty excited about this stuff. Like it's reflecting what would be a building on the left side of that car. And if I don't like something with the chat GPT prompt that it generated me, what I could do is I could go in here and I could tell ChatGPT to change a certain thing about it or 
make sure this picture is in color. It doesn't have to be what ChatGPT generates you as your final result, but what this allows for is some freedom and it gives you a template prompt that you can kind of use in order to start generating the AI art you want with less thought. I have a couple more prompts that I want to try out. One is going to be a Ford Mustang in the year of 2070. Uh, let's see if let's see if this is going to be a good design or a bad design. So hyper-realistic Ford Mustang in the year 2070, save and submit. Let's see what happens. It's added some holographic advertisements for the year 2070. Um, hopefully that doesn't affect the car. We're going to now copy and paste this in the mid journey and see what kind of AI art this gives us. Hopefully it doesn't disappoint. We're going to send it off. And when you look at that, it's generated these four images of what they think a 2070 Ford Mustang is going to look like. If it's still looking like this, 50 years from now, then I'm going to be a little bit concerned with what is Ford doing because I'm not going to lie, this already looks like some of their models that they came out with a couple years ago, but the lighting, the atmosphere, and everything about these pictures is telling me future. That's always one of the things that absolutely amazes me is when they have the reflection of the object in water or a wet surface. They even tried adding the Mustang logo right there. And the taillights actually reflect a Ford Mustang. So very good job to Midjourney for hammering down on those little details. This is very cool stuff. And I can always change things about the prompts too. I don't have to keep what ChatGPT gave me, but what it does is it gives me that template. It gives me that foundation to build from in order to get the perfect picture that I am looking for. So next, I'm going to ask it to generate a prompt for a hyper-realistic Black Panther. We're going to hit save and submit. Let's see what kind of prompt it generates for us here. Okay, so it has went into deep detail about what it wants for this prompt, and I'm actually going to change it a little bit when I have it pasted over in Discord. This is one I tried generating of a uh, mythical sea creature. It didn't turn out that great. It wasn't too bad, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Imagine Prompt, and instead of having all these filler words, uh, for example, prowling through a dense jungle at twilight, what I'm just going to do is hit Prowling, comma, Dense jungle at twilight, glistening fur. When you give Midjourney those um, those words that it needs to understand and try to take out the unnecessary information and the unnecessary filler words, that is when it can become much more powerful. And that's just what it understands a little bit better. So instead of surrounded by, what I'm going to do is just put lush foliage. I'm going to put a comma in between that and ancient trees. And now I think this is ready to send off. So let's see how ChatGPT did. And this is what it came up with for the Panthers. This is absolutely blowing my mind. I mean, every time I do this, my mind is still blown. These are not real pictures. These are not taken by a photographer. Uh, this is completely AI generated, but it looks 100% real. I have two things that I really like about this image. I like how they kind of gave this panther down here in the bottom right leopard print. And I also like the piercing yellow eyes that it provided on all of the black panthers in each picture. Out of all four of these, I either think the bottom right one is my favorite or the top left. So this is what happens when you take GPT-4 and Midjourney V5 and you combine those two forces together. Not only do you get awesome prompts to use, but you get awesome prompts quickly. Once you explain to ChatGPT4, you know, what is Midjourney? What does it do? What are the parameters? It's super powerful and it can generate insane AI art in a matter of seconds. You don't have to think about the prompt. You don't have to think about the aspect ratio, camera equipment. But the thing is, is that if there is specific camera equipment or specific things you want within the image, then ChatGPT will generate out that template for you and you can replace the information where needed. If you enjoyed this video, please comment and let me know so I know what kind of content to create. And also while you're down there commenting, drop a like and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Again, if you want that PDF, it's completely free. Head to the link in the description and you can teach ChatGPT what Midjourney is in seconds. That way you can start generating awesome AI art with those prompts. All right, I'll see you in the next video.